Welcome to my lecture online. Now here we have actually a very simple integral. And the reason why we're doing it here is because I want to compare it to some of the other ones that we have been doing and some more that we will be doing in the future where the square root of x squared minus a squared or x squared plus a squared is usually in the denominator. When it's in the numerator like this and then you have an x on the outside of that radical, that makes it actually pretty simple. Now if we were to write that as one over that, then it becomes a lot more difficult and you'll see the different techniques that we employ for that. So I just want to show it to you as a contrast. What we need to realize here is that when we have something like this where we have the square root of x squared minus a squared in the numerator, we need a proper differential. So here we have an x dx where in essence we need a 2x dx in order to integrate it and you'll see in just a moment why I say that. So we're going to use the technique of substitution. We're going to let another variable called u equal what's inside the radical. So we're going to write let u equal x squared minus a squared. And then we take the derivative of u, du dx with respect to x, which is equal to 2x, which means that du equals 2x dx, or dx is equal to du divided by 2x. And then we're going to replace x squared minus a squared by u, and we're going to replace dx with du over 2x. And let's see what happens when we do that. So this is equal to the integral of, we'll leave the x there, we're going to have the square root of x squared minus a squared, which is u, so we end up with u to the one-half power, and dx becomes du divided by 2x. Now notice that we can cancel out the two x's, so this x cancels out with that x, and the 1 over 2 can come outside the integral sign, so this becomes 1 over 2 times the integral of u to the 1 half du, and that makes it easier to integrate. So that becomes 1 half times u to the 3 halves power divided by the new integral, I mean the new uh, exponent, 3 over 2, plus a constant of integration, which is equal to 1 half times the inverse of that, 2 thirds times u to the 3 halves plus a constant of integration. Notice that the 2's cancel out, so this becomes equal to 1 third u to the 3 halves plus a constant of integration. Now all we have to do here is realize that u is equal to what's inside, uh, what's up there. So we can then say that this is equal to 1 third times x squared minus a squared to the 3 halves power plus a constant of integration, which then becomes the solution to our integral. So notice, it becomes actually quite easy using the method of substitution to find that. A different story when it's 1 over x times the square root of x squared minus a squared, which we'll see in the future video. One more thing you could do is if you rewrite it like this, we can rewrite this as the square root of x squared minus a squared times x dx, and then we look at what's inside the radical. Now, if we take the derivative of that, we realize we end up with a 2x. So in order to integrate it, we need a 2x dx, so it's another way of looking at it. So I'm going to multiply this times 2, so we end up with a 2x dx, and then I have to divide by 2 in order to compensate for what I just did. And then you can say, okay, now I can integrate this. So this becomes equal to 1 half times this quantity here, x squared minus a squared to the 3 halves power instead of 1 half power, divided by 3 halves, plus a constant of integration. And when we simplify that, we get 1 third times x squared minus a squared to the 3 halves plus the constant of integration, which is exactly what we have over here. So we can utilize the substitution method or simply realize when I integrate this, I need the proper differential, which in this case would be 2x dx instead of x dx. I add the other 2, I have to divide by 2 to compensate, and then I can go ahead and integrate to get the same result. So that's how we do these kinds of integrals. Let's see what happens when we put all that into the denominator.